So now we're inside. We're up here at the front of the coach. Um, so you see the main steering unit here uh, and the passenger side over here. And one of the neat things about the Aspire is over here right in front of the passenger side door, uh, you can pull out the, what you call it, the like step that covers the steps here. So I can go ahead and do that real quick. This is a button, you hold it down and it goes ahead and covers up the step area here so your passenger doesn't have dangly feet while they're sitting next to you while you're driving. So that's really cool. And then the second thing that's really cool about the seat is you have a long, uh, let's see here, it's not light right here. And you can put the seat back. So super comfortable for your passenger. So moving along towards the back, I'm going to start over here with the couch. Um, so this color scheme is the dark leather with uh, the medium wood, uh, and this couch is really neat. It uh, actually has a pullout with uh, a blow-up mattress over here. Uh, so it's perfect because I don't think we've seen this in probably any of the other videos, but in case you have a guest, looks like it's a, a full bed, uh, and you can go ahead and pull that out, plug it in, raise it up, and have a, a spot for maybe a guest that comes to visit you. Uh, this seat over here also has a recliner, which is nice, and this couch piece pulls out, so you have a nice L-shaped couch. So the fireplace is electric, and over here you have the switches right on the top, on and off switch, um, kind of a low and a high setting, a little uh, kind of blower, blower thing you got going on there. Uh, a nice uh, big TV, uh, Samsung, and moving over here a little bit more, you have your dinette, and it comes with two chairs, and this pulls out a little bit more, it gives you a little bit of extra space. And just to kind of show you what's happening underneath the dinette, let's chair out of the way. You have a few nice drawers on this side, just regular drawers. There's actually this place here I think you can, you can take this out. You can even set a laptop down, put your keyboard there, which is really nice. Um, and then just a regular drawer. It looks like here you can maybe put some files, make that into a filing cabinet, or just a nice deep drawer for storage. Just looking under here, um, you have your subwoofer under there. Also another big piece of uh, storage, which is nice. And you have your other cabinet here, shelf, more storage, and a, uh, another drawer. So moving along, uh, further down the coach after the dinette section is your Samsung fridge. Double door open on the top, you have your uh, you know, water and ice cube maker on the front. And uh, it's just a lot of really nice space inside here. You know, you have your drawers for your fruits and vegetables, this big drawer that opens up for your deli meat going on in there. And uh, down here at the bottom is your drawer pull out freezer and it has two drawers in here. It's nice. You don't have to pile all your stuff on top of each other. You can be a little bit more organized. It's a lot of space. Nice, nice big fridge. Which is always a good thing. Uh, so moving over to the kitchen, the kitchen has this nice uh, pull out here. And when the couch is pulled out too, they, they butt up to each other. And it gives you more counter space. And you also have your three drawers down here. And this first drawer pulls out, you have your cutting board here, so you even have more space. But that's a lot of drawer space there to store your kitchen needs. And then you have a few more drawers down here for even more storage, and all of them pull out really far like that. Uh, you have your nice two bucket sink. Your covers here, 
your water filtration system, nice sink setup. Under here, you have your trash, uh, your other place to store your sink covers. Some laminized space there for your cleaning supplies. And then over here is your uh, stove top. And this is nice because it just pulls up right like that. You don't have to store it anywhere. You have your nice two burner set stove there. And underneath here is more storage, but uh, you can also get a dishwasher and put that in there if, if you would like to have a dishwasher instead of storage space. This pulls out. And um, the microwave slash convection oven. So you have your oven option and your microwave option, which is really great. You have all your different dials here, but it's big, nice big fed whole chicken in there. <laughs> but um, nice setup. And there's the more cabinet space over here. And this cabinet space is really great. They have these uh, drawers that pull out and uh, good for organizing. That way when you're driving around, all your stuff isn't moving all over the place. And that way it's easy to get your stuff all the way in the back since the drawers come out. And you have three cabinets here, all different sizes with all of those drawers in them. Um, which is great for storing and organizing your kitchen. Uh, more cabinets here. Uh, this is really neat. You have a little silverware divider here. And that pulls back and you have more storage underneath. Great for all your silverware, keeping that organized. And then you have a few more drawers underneath here. All of them just pull out. And then kind of the last part of the kitchen for storage space is this pantry or more storage, whatever you decide, but you know, for all your dry goods, put your soup and cereal, pasta and whatnot. So right here behind the fridge and uh, on the other side of the kitchen is the half bath. And you have nice mirrors in there. There's a, you know, the toilet, a sink, soap dispenser. really nice so we're nice and cozy in here in a little half bath but I just wanted to show you guys um, and here is the electrical panel so over here is all of your lights um, you have the aqua hot system here um, and then all of your tank monitoring monitoring um, you know you have your black gray and fresh water so this is where all of your little uh, electronics are. Uh, there's also good storage behind me here. Put all of your bathroom stuff. And then down here, um, you have more cabinets. And um, drawer space. Which is great. I actually have one too. Just gonna make sure it's tight so they don't open while you're driving. So one other thing that I wanted to point out to you guys is the vacuum system. There's a built-in vacuum system, uh, which is really neat. It's, it's really meant, I guess, for you to kind of push your foot here. Uh, but what you do is you just press this over, and it turns on. And you just kind of sweep all of your you know, dust or whatnot over here and turn that on, and it sucks it out, which is really great. And then there's also an option when you turn that on over here, um, you can get the tube and you can plug the tube in here and you're able to go ahead and vacuum the same way you turn it on, um, pressing that button on the other side like I showed you before. But a neat feature because um, vacuum is built right into the coach. So um, they have these lighting panels throughout the coach and it's really neat. Uh, it's just press, touchscreen, all the lights throughout the um, Integra coach are LED. And the other really neat thing is they have the master switch on and off. So you can just press one button and it turns either all the lights on or all the lights off throughout the entire coach. 
Um, and there's that one for the master switch is by the front and also in the bedroom right above your head. So coming into the bedroom, um, so you can kind of get cozy on the couch and you can see it. So if you're lying down, sleeping, about to go to sleep, and you want to turn all your lights off, you just press the um, master off switch. It turns off everything, which is so nice. And it also has the security in this as well, which is nice. So if um, you can turn that off before you go to bed, it has a security system, which is always really neat. So turn all those lights back on. Also has a little uh, uh, switch here for the fan. Um, they come with the sleep number bed. This is king size. So you and your partner, if you have your different sleeping needs, um, there's a remote where you can go ahead and adjust the soft and firmness. Um, I guess other thing, the door, there's a sliding door here that's nice for privacy. Um, kind of pocket door style and just press it down and pull it over and it gives you the privacy between the kitchen and the bedroom. It's nice. There's another TV in here, more lighting system, more, more cabinet space. Um, these are nice big deep drawers. Put your clothes. This TV also comes out. There's more storage behind here. Bose speaker system, Samsung Blu-ray. That's nice, have storage behind there. Um, more deep drawers here. We have the space up here. This is a big one, it's not divided, so good for storage needs. And then the bathroom, coming in here, this is also a pocket door as well. Push that down and pull it closed. There's a nice big mirror on the back side of here, full length. That's another great thing about this coach, you have nice big mirrors everywhere. But you have a nice um, granite sink top here. Um, these little cabinets pull out, nice, nice storage there. Like a cheap, cheap brush, cheap paste. Um, nice big cabinet space storage under the sink. Um, six drawers there. Use the there's really big cabinet uh, space or closet space over here uh, with you know the rod where you can hang up all of your clothes. It's nice and big. It's the little divider in there, but it goes all the way across. And then over here, uh, next to the closet, is your washer and dryer. This is Whirlpool. Decent size. Really get a good little laundry going on in there. Then you have your toilet, and up here you have one of those. Uh, uh, fans, which is great. That's electric. Turn it on and open it up and off. And then over here you have your shower. So this, these showers are pretty cool. They, they open two ways. You lock it while you're driving. Kind of have some privacy glass here, but yeah, it's a really um decent size. Let's see, I mean, I'm not the biggest person, but I fit in here uh, nicely. It has a seat, detachable head, uh, different options for your uh, water in the spray. But yeah, it's uh, pretty nice. So I just wanted to uh, quickly show you the main system they have here, which is really neat. Um, so if you press it on, it gives you the options, RV tools, you know, your map. Um, if you press on this, uh, it gives you your RV info, um, which is neat. It tells you all about the coach and what's going on in it. Back button here. 
another thing that I really like is uh, you can program your checklist. Uh, I know that, uh, you know, especially if you're doing this the first time or, you know, there's a lot of things you want to check before you leave any campsite and it's neat because it gives you the full checklist and you go through and check everything before you head on your way. And then back here it has all the backup cameras, which is always good to see since you are in such a big coach. So um, again, thanks for watching and checking out the uh, Integra Aspire 44B and um, I hope you enjoyed it.